Hi! With this year's new COVID restrictions, we've had to learn and add a lot of things to our daily routine, like wearing a mask, staying six feet apart from our friends, and most importantly, having good hygiene and washing our hands. Sometimes this isn't always fun and a little bit boring, so today I'm going to teach you how to make soap dough. To make soap dough, we will need one fourth of a cup of cornstarch, eight teaspoons of liquid soap, one bowl, and one spoon. I want to make enough soap dough for my family too, so I'm going to need to double the recipe. First, we'll double our one fourth of a cup of cornstarch. We can add across the top because the denominator on both is four, so we'll keep the four and one plus one is two, but we know that two fourths is also equal to one half. Now, we are going to add our eight teaspoons. Eight plus eight is 16. We also have to make sure we label what our measurements are so we won't forget when we make the recipe. I took a look and converted 16 teaspoons into cups to make it easier for the recipe. 16 teaspoons is equal to one third cup. Our first step is to measure out the cornstarch. We figured that it should be one half cup if we're doubling the recipe. Make sure to top off the excess so you get a good measurement. I made sure to dump out the excess cornstarch and put the measured part aside, and then we'll use one third of a cup to measure out a soap. I use the smelly mint kind, but you could also use anything like Dawn. With both our ingredients measured out, we can now add one half a cup of cornstarch and our one third cup of soap. Now with a spoon, mix together the ingredients as best as you can. It'll be a little bit crumbly, but that's all right. Once your ingredients start to stick together, put it onto a clean surface. Mine was a little sticky, so I added some more cornstarch. Then knead it together until it forms a ball. If your dough is kind of dry, you can always add more soap. You could play around with the different types of soap or smells you use and even add essential oils into your dough. I was able to make blue dough with Dawn dish soap and I used my dough to mold a flour. What can you make? Even if you don't mold and make anything with this dough, it's really fun to squish around and it's especially good at keeping your hands clean. Make sure to wash your hands with warm water and until your dough is completely dissolved. Have fun, stay safe, and wash your hands.